Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, awesome Kevin from Celebrity Talkies. Well, today's WWO convention, Guillermo Rigondix 15 10 KOs, was stripped of his WBO title for falling to defend it in a timely manner. Rigondix 35 hasn't defended his WBO title since last December when he beat Hizashi. Amgasa by an 11th round knockout. It's hard to blame Rigondix for not defending the belt, but because the top fighters in the division has shown no interest in fighting him, Rigondix wants to face the likes of Scott Kug, Carl Frampton, Nonito Donaire, but getting them to agree to a fight with him is like pulling teeth. Number 1 WBO Cesar Jerez and, and number 2 WBO Nonito Donair are expected to fight Rigon Dix WBO Super Bantamweight title in the next next uh, near future I think in near future surely ever since Rigon Dix one sided 12 round decision win over Donair in 2013 none of the quality fighters he wanted to get into the ring with him after that, Rigon Dix recently wanted to face WBO featherweight champion Vazel Lomachenko, but not surprisingly, the negotiation went nowhere without a catch weight. Rigon Dix likely would have been out of weight by 10-15, but 10-15 pounds by Lomachenko, it would have put Rigon Dix at a huge disadvantage way wise if he had taken that fight. At 35, Regan Dix is in the same situation as talented fighters like Gennady Golkin is. He is just too good for his own good and it makes it pretty much impossible for him to get the fighters with built in fan bases like Frampton and Quig to agree to fight with him. You have to wonder whether Regan Dix would be able to build up a huge fan base overnight if he immigrated to UK. It would be interesting to see. At convention today, WBO stripped inactive Guillermo Regan Dix of 122 title boxing. Dan Ruffell said it on his, on his Twitter. I am told by somebody at WBO convention that Rigo's promoter, Karib was not even there to argue on his behalf. To fill now vacant WBO 122 will be Donaire versus Cesar Jerez. More likely, Rigo promoter presented arguments on his behalf in his show cause response. The committee wasn't swayed. Say what you want, but... Uh, World Boxing Organization followed its rules in a strip in stripping Rigo at Paco. So what we think is Rigo has been a pro for six and a half years and has 15 fights and one big win. Hey Carl Morito, if you are still Rigo promoter, would be strip strippage still have occurred? Well, Rigo and the US best year are going by without him fighting any interesting fights. He still has his WBA Super Bantamweight title in his possession. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and subscribe to our channel.